Yo, what's up guys? I just wanted to ask you guys, have you been working on yourself? Have you have you been putting yourself in the fire and grinding and working on changing your fucked up ways? Because I, I know I have. And what happens is, is whenever you start working on yourself, you, you look in the mirror and you see all these imperfections. And if you're really real and you're doing a good job, then you might find yourself apologizing a lot. You might find yourself telling people you're sorry. And, and that is a good thing because that means you're recognizing your mistakes. You're recognizing those imperfections and you're working on them. It's very tough to have enough pride to tell somebody you're sorry because what, what I used to do and what my pattern was is blaming everything else on the world around me and the people around me. It was somebody else's fault. It was somebody else's problem. And I could always find a way to blame everything on other people and not apologize and not put it on myself and take responsibility and take ownership for my own fucked up way of thinking, for my own fucked up things I said or the things that I've done. So now that I've been in this fire and I've been grinding, I find myself apologizing all the damn time. And sometimes I ask myself, fuck man, am I ever going to change? Like, is this shit ever really going to change i've been doing all this work all this grinding and still my subconscious mind it spits out my impulses it spits out these these things that i really don't want to say or these things i really don't want to mean or my my auto suggestion in my mind is not to trust people and i push people away and sometimes i might lash out on people and although i've made a lot of progress on that i still get very upset that i make up make mistakes right so what am I supposed to do? Am I just supposed to fucking give up and say, oh, well, I guess I can't do it. Am I supposed to just give up and give in and say, oh, that's it. And this is just the way that I am. Hell no, I'm not. And you're not either. So if you're going through those things and whatever it is you're working on that you might want to change and you find yourself hitting the roadblock over and over again, that doesn't mean that it's not possible. That doesn't mean that you can't. Just because you find yourself with these imperfections, that doesn't mean they have to stay the same way. It just means that sometimes for some of us, you just have to work even harder. You have to dig in. It takes a little bit more time and you have to have faith that you're going to make progress and you have to look at that progress and not a perfection level because we're not we're not ever going to reach perfection so one thing whenever you're doing this change thing like if you're constantly going back in and working on yourself and identifying these weaknesses and identifying your vulnerabilities and identifying your mistakes then sometimes it becomes very hard to have any type of confidence like it's an ego de destroyer and even though we need to destroy our ego in a selfish way you still need to have some type of ego in order to have in order to have confidence in yourself in order to have some type of swag so if you're finding yourself in that fire man and it, and then you, you, it kind of gets depressing sometimes so there's this very thin line that we have to walk so you need to be confident with yourself and keep on with the positive affirmations and the positive self-talk and understand that even though you're going through this fire that it's going to come out better on the other side right that you're going to come out a better product on the other side of these trials and tribulations so I wanted to tell you guys a story and it's just about enjoying the journey. Like when we're going through this thing, I know I'm hard on myself sometimes. I still learn and have to find a way to enjoy the journey, to enjoy everything around me, to find beauty in, in my kids and my family, to find beauty whenever I was even by myself and single. I had to find a way to find beauty and everything like that. So the beauty, the, the story is in uh, the, about the book called The Alchemist, and it's a story in there, and it's about the alchemist. You can just imagine him as a teacher, and he was teaching a student, a young kid, and he wanted to show the kid a, a, a trick about how to keep his his self in check, so and enjoy the moment. So he told the kid to take a spoon and fill it up, like you can imagine whenever you used to drink cough syrup whenever you was a kid, and he told him to fill that spoon up and go into this room where this room was decorated and we had all this beautiful architecture and all this beautiful paintings and all this beautiful gold and silver and just beautiful the most beautiful things you can imagine he told him go in this room and be very careful not to spill anything out of that spoon and he filled it up and he said don't spill a drop so the kid he went and he walked around the room he was very attentive he walked around the room came back out he was excited man teacher i didn't spill a drop look i did great teacher said great now did you see all the beautiful stuff in the room did you see all the beautiful paintings all the beautiful gold silver all the beautiful things in the room and the kid said well no i was i didn't i, I was so focused on not spilling anything out of the spoon i didn't even pay attention he said okay great now what i want you to do is i want you to go back in there i want you to go in i want you to notice all the beautiful things in the room and tell me about all the details of the paintings and the sculptures and everything that you see i want you to describe them all whenever you come back out but i want to i want you to carry 
carry that spoon and, and, and try not to spill nothing at the same time, but I want you to tell me about all these things when you come out while carrying the spoon. So the kid went back in and he started noticing all these marvelous things, all these beautiful intricate paintings and all the all the sculptures and the beautiful gold and the silver. And when he came back out, he was excited and he started, the, the teacher said, what did you see? And he started describing all this beautiful stuff. It was the most beautiful room he's ever seen in his life. And the teacher said, great, now look down at your spoon. And the spoon was empty. And he said, now the trick to life is, the trick to life is being able to enjoy and notice all the beautiful things around you while not spilling anything out of your spoon. So when you're going through this thing called life and you're putting yourself in this fire and you're doing this self-improvement, the self-development thing, just keep in mind, you gotta enjoy the journey. Enjoy everything around you. Whenever I go run, I enjoy that sweat. I know that the pain is gonna give me something, it's gonna give me something down the road, some type of, of energy, some type of force that I didn't have before. Whenever I'm in those gut check moments and that old me wants to come out and I keep myself in check and I'm able to keep my mouth shut or my fingers, my fingers and I don't, my fingers uh, uh, don't, where I don't text anything and I'm not sending any lashing out or anything and I'm not acting on those emotions. To me, that's 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 where the power is. But I don't get that power unless I do those small things, right? Unless I, I discipline myself. So there's this very thin line that you walk whenever you're on this constant, where you're constantly trying to improve and looking yourself in the mirror, but then you have to have this confidence. But without, without the confidence and knowing that you're gonna get to that, you're not gonna keep going. Like you're not gonna keep just putting yourself in the fire. So you have to be confident that your end result is gonna be worth it and that you're gonna get there. You gotta be confident that you're gonna reach your goal. You gotta be confident that you're gonna change. So believe in that. But at the same time, guys, enjoy the journey. Enjoy everything around you. Love people, love, I don't care if it's the guy at the gas station, I don't care. Sometimes you can get so caught up in being by yourself or being alone that you forget to just have small conversations with people, that you forget to interact with people, that you may forget to interact with your higher power or have faith in something. So if you're in those situations, just don't get so bad on yourself with this negative self-talk where you're like, nobody loves me or nobody cares, nobody wants to talk to me, all that kind of stuff. Don't tell yourself that because eventually that's like what you're gonna get. Like. Be outgoing, be social. Even if it's uncomfortable to talk to people, just start talking to people. Try to make people smile. Like every day whenever I go out, like I try to make at least one person laugh. Like I'm always messing with people, like trying to give them a hard time to make them laugh, like trying to say something funny to make them laugh because I know at the end of the day, if I can at least do that, that's free for me to give and it's free for me to give a smile. And if I'm enjoying the journey, then it's a lot easier for me to focus. So. All my mistakes, all my weaknesses, all my imperfection, guys, like I'm very open about them. And, and the reason why I tell you about them because I know that there's a lot of people just like me. And so if I can find solutions for my mistakes and if I can find a correct way of thinking, then I would love to pass it down to you guys. Like anything that helps me, you know, I feel like it's my job to pass it down to everybody else. Um, all this stuff, man, like I took a lot of stuff from a lot of, of champions, warriors. Like this is what I do. I study these people. Um, these, these these Navy SEALs, these these champions, these people with disabilities that came from nothing, these people um, that, that built amazing businesses and were very successful entrepreneurs, the great generals of our time, the leaders of our time. So and it's just a way of thinking, like as I incorporate it in my life, I want to pass it down and give it to everybody else as well. So I'm uh, going to be working on the Sober Training Series tomorrow and passing down as much information, as much um, as many strategies, as, many, as much helpful thinking as I can to you guys and that's what this is all about right so I might not uh, everything I might say might not always be politically correct correct and I shoot a lot from the hip so there might be a few things I could word here a little bit different here and there and I'll definitely be the first to tell you that my content isn't for everybody so maybe it isn't for you but for the people that it is for you know who you are you know that you can feel it and you know that this stuff applies to your life and what I'm gonna tell you is if, if this is for you then don't just listen like don't just read the books don't just listen to the videos then go out and take some action you know what I mean like put in the work like work on yourself one of the things I believe like if you're happy with what you see in the mirror then it's a lot easier to be happy every day like 
if you're if you're in shape and your body's in shape and you put in work for that then that's something that money can't buy and that's why i preach that shit so much because i feel like that's the the cornerstone and a stepping stone of development to help people get off rock bottom and overcome all their addictions and depressions man it really it starts with that because it started with that for me and that's what really helped me so i just want to let you guys know i, I love everybody man i'm gonna I'm continue working on myself and i'm I, I want you guys to see who i can be in, in 10 years and five years and i want to see who you can be in five years and 10 years and i want us to grow together and i know that there's probably not a lot of people out there that are willing to put their their uh their weaknesses and their insecurities on the line out there like i will so this is just the motivation for the average person you know what i mean like the average person that this is i'm gonna i'm gonna be real with you and tell you about my depressions about my past addictions about my struggles about everything that i go through man because i feel like the average person goes through that but you're not gonna see this shit on, on mtv like you're not gonna see this this type of stuff people aren't going to promote this type of stuff is what i'm saying man so um you guys do the best do the best that you can to be the best version of yourself today i know that i am get your workout in get some good healthy eating habits in read for at least 10 minutes today make somebody smile today and um you know take the time to to spread that love make sure you take the time to sell somebody that you haven't talked to in a while shoot them a message and tell them that you love them if you ever feel something on your heart that you're thinking about somebody that maybe you haven't talked to in a while shoot them a message man and spread the light i'm asking you guys to just be a warrior of the light you know what the light is the goodness the hope the love just be a warrior of the light and as my as my dad used to tell me all the time if you live right it'll be right y'all have an amazing day